Today, we're going to be looking at the differences between these two football shirts. One is from DHK, one is real. Can we tell the difference? So, hello, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to be trying to look at the differences between this, which is a real, authentic Liverpool 2020-2021 jersey and this, which is a fake one from DHgate. Before we open the jerseys, I want to talk about prices because I think prices is the main reason you'd probably buy a fake shirt from DHgate. The real Liverpool jersey cost me £70. Sports Direct were doing free name and number at the time, so that's why I ordered from Sports Direct. But, just to mention, it normally costs, I think, £13, £12 for a name and number. It normally would be £82. This one is £12. So we're going to unbag it on the channel so you guys can see how it comes packaged. Sports Direct, I just want to mention, didn't come in like a Nike bag, but I think it's because I had a printer. Normally Nike shirts come in a Nike bag. So let's see if the DHgate one does. I'm going to rip the inner package. Okay. So it comes more, much more nicely packaged, look at that. So you can see straight away this one is Mane. You've got a Nike, resealable Nike bag, which is like a, a seal that you can open up and close. I assume that's so when they change the name and number, they can get it out. So I think we'll get the fake one out first. You get your Nike tags. Very nice shirt. I will say I ordered this in a 4XL because it did say order one size bigger than your standard size, but this looks pretty good. Now to open this Firmino shirt, which is the real one, and then we'll be able to do some comparisons between the two to see can we tell the difference between the £12 DHgate shirt and the £80 official Liverpool shirt. I love this year's kit, by the way, I just want to mention that. I've got last year's shirt on, probably one of the last times I'll wear it. I've got Firmino on my real one because he's my favourite player. Already, this shirt feels very similar. Very, very similar. So you've got Firmino on the back. There's the front. Looking at the two shirts like that, in the camera, I can't see any differences. The name is the exact same size lettering. The 96 print on the back, exactly the same. The necks even feel like they're made out of the same material. Size-wise, the, the 4XL from DHK looks a tiny bit smaller, but I will try them on and actually confirm that. But So let's look at the, the badges, the labels. So you've got Nike Standard Fit, Nike LFC. It says Men's Home 4XL. Nike.com and then the Liverpool one okay so the badge one difference is the badge on the real shirt is actually in the sleeve whereas on the fake shirt it's hanging off the neck so that's one difference I've noticed straight away it's worth knowing the differences between reals and fakes in case you go and buy them in any sort of unlicensed shops you know like sports collectible shops and stuff um, this one, you've got a Liverpool little hologram on the label. It says Nike Breathe. There's a more detailed label. It's the same colour. So that one basically has two of the, the labels on. This one, men's very so large. So yeah, it's, it's, it's pretty close though. Just to mention, this isn't the elite version of the shirt. This is just your, your bog standard offering. But they look very, very close. Just want to show you the front of both shirts for a second. They are incredibly close. Like if you look at the neck, not nothing really showing in terms of the, the liver bird. This is the real shirt. This is the fake one. So I would say on the real shirt, it's very, very slightly more defined if we look at them both together like that. The sponsor is exactly the same. The Nike tick, again, is exactly the same. That is a little bit folded there. But 
The night tick, exactly the same. You cannot tell the difference between them. After finishing the review, I showed my girlfriend and she noticed something which I did not even notice. If you look at this shirt on this side, it has got the little R, which the Liverpool New Balance shirts used to have on the crest. The Liverpool Nike shirt, this is the official one, doesn't have that. So the fake shirt is actually using like the old New Balance tool, I assume, which has the little R, like the little copyright sort of symbol that the New Balance shirts used to, but the Nike one does not. So that's just a little interesting difference on the badge. One difference you can see on the back is if you look at the Manny shirt, which is the fake one, the name is much closer to the number than how it is spaced on the real shirt, which was done by Sports Direct. Look at the 96s. It's printed, it's exactly the same. You cannot tell the difference. I guess it's time to try one of the shirts on. So the Nike, I'm trying the official one on first. This feels a bit more roomy than the New Balance shirt did. The, the sleeves are also looser, even though they've got this kind of elasticated band on them. But comparing this to last year's New Balance shirt, it's, it's definitely more roomy. I'll just move back and stand up. Um, it's not so long, but like it definitely, it's definitely a bit more roomy than New Balance was. A lot of model. Let's see how the fake fits. It's so tight. This is one size bigger than the real jersey. It's like an XL. It's not even like a 2XL. It's like an XL. I normally wear 2XL or 3XL in night. That is, it's so, it's tiny. It looked Bigger for a second, but it's not. It's it's smaller. It is it's tight. It's tight around the neck even. But the material, it's the same material, definitely. You cannot tell the difference in the material. I need to change in the other one because this is not comfortable. I have got to say, I'm really disappointed with the sizing of that. The 3XL is roomy. The Nike 3XL is a little bit roomier than the New Balance 3XL. And the 4XL from DHgate doesn't really fit me. I wouldn't wear that in public, how tight that is. One thing I want to say as well is the difference in the reds between this and that sort of, kind of what New Balance called it. They came up with a fancy name for the red. I actually prefer the move back to the bright red for anyone that's sort of debating between this and how it looked last year. I like the shirt. This Mane one will probably just be hung up somewhere like that, just as kind of like a decoration piece. But the Firmino one, let's say the the name spacing on that is wrong. It looks like longer, but it's much narrower, much narrower. Even the neck, really disappointing size-wise because it had a size guide and according to the size guide, I should have ordered 3XL. I ordered 4XL for extra space and it's too small. Whereas the Nike size guide, I'm right in the middle of 2XL and 3XL, so I go for 3XL because then I can chuck it on over a hoodie or another top. This should have been too big and it's too small. That is no good, the H gate. The worst part of this is this jersey is so good. For £12, it is so good. Especially in a day when not all parents can afford this, which is the real jersey for £70, £80. Pound. Most people can't afford that for their children. If you've got teenage kids, say you've got three teenage kids and they all need the small adult jerseys, for 40 quid, you could get them all one instead of 80 quid for one of them. I understand why people are buying these DHK shirts now. Personally, I like to support the club, and that's what I try to do. But I understand if you cannot afford it, getting this. Because, you know, you want the newest jersey. They come out every year. And just a quick round about football jerseys. There's three kits per season, and from DHK, you would be able to buy all three for less than the cost of one real one. Three. For the price of one. That doesn't fit me though, but if you get the sizing right, instead of this, you could have home, away, third shirt, goalkeeper shirt, goalkeeper away shirt for the same price as this. You could get five kits. If you're someone that just likes football kits in general, you could get five different teams. You could get, you know, Real Madrid, Barcelona, Juve, Bayern Munich, Argentina, Brazil. You could get a Brazil one with Firmino on the back. 
I like the fact that DHK is cheap with a name and number as well, but for me, 70 quid versus 12 quid, this is the better shirt to buy value wise, but this is the real deal, and that's the one I'll be wearing. I always score stuff out of 10 on the channel. This is going to get a six out of 10. Now the reason is the shirt quality is incredible. If that name and number hadn't have been wrong on the back, the only difference is a very little bit of detail in the badge. Everything else feels the same, looks the same, is the same. The name and number, the spacing is wrong. There should be a bigger gap between the name and the number and that's, I don't know why they've done that. I don't know whether that's easier for them to package, easier for them to fold. I don't know the, the reason this has happened. That's not right. There should be a slightly bigger gap. And it is not true to size. It's not, they said maybe all the one size above. There was a guide which had the centimeters, the inches. I should be wearing, according to their guide, a 3XL in the Asian DH gate knockoffs. And a 4XL is too small. So that's the main takeaway from this, is the sizing was not right. If you're a smaller person and you don't mind it being baggy, maybe order a couple of sizes up because you've got that bit of play then. If you don't mind it being tight, maybe if you've got that sort of Dwayne Johnson physique and you want to show it off, get a smaller one. But for me, I'm disappointed because I like the shirt and this was so good quality. But the sizing is wrong, and just that name and number, you can see the difference again there. But for me, if you can't afford the real thing, that is as good as. Another thing I'll mention is, I personally think if you are going to buy fake football shirts, which isn't really my MO, but if you're going to buy fake football shirts, if you buy the more obscure teams, like UNAM or international teams like Nigeria's shirt and stuff, people are less likely to notice that they're fake because they don't see it as much. Whereas with your big teams like Liverpool, that you see the Liverpool shirt every day and people know if it's fake. If you buy the more obscure teams, you might be able to get away with it a bit more. But personally, the difference is so slight. Just going back to the bad, it just looks like it's been washed a few more times and it's not as new. It doesn't look like it's fake, it just looks like it's not as new. But for me, if you can't afford the real thing, it's a great alternative. If you've got kids that won't know the difference, it's a great alternative. If you want a name and number, and you're not sure if the player's gonna be sold, great alternative as well. Thank you all for watching. Try to smash 100 likes on this video because the last one got 90 something. The last DHgate review got over 8,000 views. 90 odd likes. Let's try to smash 100 on this one, please, guys. Hit the like button. Ask me any questions that you have about DHgate football shirts below because I'm interested to know, what do you guys think? Do you guys buy DHgate shirts? Do you guys have advice for ordering DHK shirts? How have you guys found the size on them? I'm especially curious to know because I didn't have that issue on my last one. My last DHK review will be up there for you to go watch. It was a Virgil van Dyke Holland shirt. So you can go watch that now and you can click down there, subscribe to the channel, which means you won't miss everything that's coming up real soon.